National Mission for Clean Ganga are organizing Ganga Utsav. I think uh, on this occasion, I welcome all uh, people of this country who know that Namami Gange, Ganga water is the one which ha we have been worshipping and the Ganga water which we always feel that uh, this, is the, this water has to be used in our uh, every rituals. And uh, it's so pavitra, it's so pure that uh, even if uh, touching the water and uh, sipping a bit of water will give us uh, so much of um, uh, feeling and relaxation at the same time, so much of, um, uh, um, you can say that we, uh, we expect that some God will uh, save us with, if we take this water. This sort of feeling is there and from ancient time, we know that uh, uh, Ganga uh, length right from across the country is about 2700 kilometers as we can see. But during the process of uh, this feeling that every, con every countryman has about touching the water, about uh, uh, even seeing that my uh, last uh, uh, rites should be performed near Ganga and all the things are generally thrown in Ganga. This over the years has created problem for uh, all of us. And the, uh, over the development from last 70 years or so, if you can just see that when the development has taken, technological development has taken, this technological development has in fact given uh, certain bad effects of that. Uh, particularly those um, tributaries, those factories, those organizations or those companies which are there along the line, they have all thrown their um, uh, effluents and refuse into um, uh, this water, which of course ultimately goes into sea. But then during the process of doing this, we have polluted Ma Ganga's water. And uh, now the time has come that we should clean this water uh, because we find that uh, the whole water, which is life, we say Jalhi Jeevan, we have been saying. So this water needs to be kept clean for all of us, for the, for the animals, for human beings, and for anything that we need this water. For this, the government of India has been trying for a long time uh, to clean this, but it could not be done. But uh, it, just an example, I can tell you that uh, see, because of the lockdown of the factories and because of the COVID pandemic, uh, the several factories were closed for about several months. And suddenly we can, find, we can see that uh, without any effort, the um, Ganga water has been uh, found to be so clean. And we can see the uh, aquatic animals who are enjoying uh, the, um, this particular water. The, um, you can see that in Prayagraj, uh, we must learn from our own acts. For example, I can say that in Prayagraj, when the Kumbh Mela was done, the activities were put in such a way that nobody could pollute the water of uh, Ganga at that particular location. So I think there has to be a uh, self-discipline which uh, we have to uh, impose on ourselves. Uh, when we say human beings, we are also saying about the, our activities the companies which we are doing, the factories who are there along the line, they should see that the water which they are uh, putting back, as I said earlier, the effluents, these effluents could be recycled into uh, clean water. That water can be used for irrigation purposes and for any other um, purpose uh, that the human being feels uh, fit. And the other portion of the effluent, which is many times uh, beneficial to agricultural crops, can be utilized for that. And uh, you see the, uh, the effect of that, if you can see that every location, even the, uh, the, uh, immer the idols are immersed in uh, Ganga uh, and this has also polluted. So every refuse and uh, bad water which is thrown into Ganga uh, has, to be, has to be stopped and it can only come if we are disciplined ourselves. My countrymen, friends, I think uh, when we talk of Ganga Utsa, we are talking of the we, we should, must take a pledge that henceforth we will not uh, pollute Ganga. We will wor we worship this water. We will take this, this water uh, in our all rituals and pujas, etc. And therefore, we, we, we will take a pledge that we will, not, um, uh, we will not pollute it. We will discipline ourselves with the activities that we are doing. We will also make people aware of the various um, good parts, uh, good uh, points about uh, keeping this water clean and the, uh, the environment will remain clean. If the water is remaining clean, the water which we take uh, will keep our body and health also clean. So on the occasion of this uh, Ganga Utsav, I, I 
I request that uh, the government should uh, instruct the factories to see that they may discipline and do not throw this water. And the human being also, as I said earlier, we must take a pledge for this. So that um, the, uh, the whole Ganga remains clean throughout its length. And we will still say that now I'm a Gange, Ganga, Mai, Pijai. This sort of thing we should be continuing. Tell our younger generation also who should keep this um, in their um, lifetime to um, clean as much as possible. So that all people, aquatic animals, everybody can enjoy this water and uh, um, uh, do puja near or wherever or take water of this Ganga. I think with this, I thank you very much the uh, National Mission for Clean Ganga, uh, the Ministry of uh, Jal Sakti for uh, starting such a, uh, such a program. And I think this will go a long way in uh, making people aware about the usefulness and the cleanness of, and the, uh, the effect of keeping Ganga water clean. Uh, with this, I thank uh, very much the um, Ministry of Jal Sakti to give me, to give me this opportunity to uh, share my thoughts on the uh, Ganga Utsav day. Thank you very much.